Hello, namaste and welcome to the Norwood Community Television. Uh, today I'm having a little different program than previous program. I think you enjoy it. This is about the social activists working around you. I am your host, Mahesh Pant. Today I am beginning um, the different show in a Norwood community that you probably notice people working around you. You probably have noticed that so many social workers or volunteers, whatever you like to say, they are working around you. Uh, most of them doesn't get paid, you probably notice. They are working with your school, they are working with your, with your town, they are cleaning your town, they are making, helping your um, parks, the children parks, they are bringing Ivan around you, they are bringing uh, blood, uh, blood camps, uh, diabetes camps for you. Uh, most of them are lions. I don't know what is about the, uh, how you know about the lions, how much you know about the lions. So I'm going to talk about that today. Uh, the lions around you, just to make sure they are your helpers, volunteers, and then most of the town in America and all of the world town and cities has a Lions Club, several Lions Club, one Lions Club in each town. So I'm not talking about so much about the Lions today because I have expertise with me today. I'm going to show you them. I'm going to uh, introduce you about what uh, th these people working for Lions, what they're doing in the Lions. I have first here Debbie Hayes. She's a district governor, Lions. 30, uh, district lines 33k Massachusetts. Massachusetts has a difference. She's going to tell you about. She's a district governor for 18 and 19. And I have also <coughs> Edith Weiner. She's a treasurer, long time treasurer um, with the Norwood Lions Club. We have also Virocha Nepal. He's a first vice president of Norwood Lions and long time secretary. Uh, Murray Weiner uh, with uh, the Norwood Lions Club. These are the panel today. And uh, by not taking so much time, we are around here 30 minutes. I'm going with the district governor for she knows about the Lions. So district governor, how are you today? Welcome. You, you've <coughs> been busy you. whole year. <laughs> it's been a very busy year. So tell us about what is Lions Club. Uh, Lions Club is uh, was founded in Chicago in 1917 uh, mm -hmm. by a businessman named Melvin Jones. Uh, you will recall that during 1917 and 1918, uh, the United States was involved in the First World War. Melvin Jones was a businessman who wanted to help people within his community mm -hmm. um, because a lot of the men were away fighting the war, mm -hmm. uh, there were families struggling. So he came together with l other businessmen <clears throat> and they formed the Association of Lions. Nice. Uh, over the years, um, Lions Clubs has grown exponentially. Mm -hmm. um, in 1925, at a convention um, in Ohio, Helen Keller mm -hmm. charged the Lions to become the Knights of the Blind. And that was wow. the uh, first sort of official mission mm -hmm. of the Lions that took place in 1925. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, we are, you know, uh, over 100 years later, mm -hmm. Lions Clubs International uh, is actually the largest humanitarian service organization in the world. Wow. We have almost 1.5 million members. Mm -hmm. We are in o over 210 countries and territories around the globe. And there are more than 47,000 clubs. clubs. On a local level, mm -hmm. Lions are like-minded individuals who give back to their community. They mm -hmm. come together together. They find a need mm -hmm. within the community or several needs, whether mm -hmm. it's youth programs, senior citizens, hunger, vision, and they come together and they help to solve that problem. Whether it's through fundraising efforts, mm -hmm. whether it's through their time and their talent, um, whatever they can do to help the community become a better place to live in and work in. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and, and everybody who does this that comes together does this on a volunteer basis. Mm -hmm. No one is paid for their time, not from the from a Lion member all the way to the international president of Lions. Um, and all of the monies that are raised through Lions, 100% of that money goes back to the communities mm -hmm. uh, in which Lions clubs exist, either through grants uh, or most often through grants. And um, 
And on a local level, the monies that are collected, uh, like the Norwood Lions Club, it goes right back into the programs within the community of Norwood. Mm -hmm. uh, that can be things like uh, f your hunger programs, your food pantry. Mm -hmm. um, if there is a Norwood fund that helps families who are struggling, uh, there are lots of local programs um, that the Norwood Lions Club supports um, mm -hmm. and in all of the communities that surround Norwood and within the state. We have more than um, eight uh, seven thousand lions in the state, and uh, how many on your district. how many on your uh, in district? our district uh, we have about eighteen hundred. Uh, how many districts in Massachusetts? In Massachusetts, is made up actually of five districts. Mm -hmm. We uh, across the state it's broken down into uh, the acronym Yanks Yanks Y A N K N S, and District K that we're in is actually what we would call Boston and Metro West. Metro West from K. the ocean to four ninety five and from. Mm -hmm. From Route 2 down to 95. We are K. We are District K. We District call ourselves K. Special K because we are a great, great group of clubs. We are, there are 47 of our, 47 clubs in our district, in district. Um, okay. and we have great people such as yourself and people on this panel that belong Thank you. Uh, to you know our clubs, and we are all out there actively helping to grow um, our membership, but also we are actively helping to help the you know working to help the citizens in the communities. Before I go to the uh, other uh, panel here, other specialist here, I'm going to ask you a little more because you're a district governor. Mm -hmm. Tell public about how democratic lines are making their officers and uh, shortly tell how they built their um, scenarios, how the international president, where he is from, where they uh, bring them and uh, who are the presidents on your club, who's, who can be president, those shor shortly. Please. So uh, actually, this year we are uh, we have celebrated a milestone on yeah. an international level. Wow! Uh, for the first time in a hundred years, we actually have a woman. Mm -hmm. um, her name is Gudrun Ingvadatter. She is from Iceland. Iceland. Um, and she is the first uh, international president of Lions uh, who is a woman. Or woman. Like she wow. says she's the first one from Iceland. Okay. Um, on a local level, uh, as with any organization, it ha you need leadership. Mm. Right, because mm -hmm. that helps keep the club moving in a forward direction at all times. Mm -hmm. uh, on a local level, any uh, any any person who wants to join a Lions Club has a very unique opportunity. Um, Lions is an outstanding organization for leadership training, mm. and what happens when you join a club is um, you have the you automatically are are able to get involved in Lions University, mm -hmm. which has all kinds of soft leadership skills. Mm -hmm. And as a member of a Lions Club, you work your way up. Most, most people, they start with uh, heading a committee. Mm -hmm. And then from that committee, they go on to become a director or a vice president. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you become a president. president. And then you, can, you move up into the district. And you can become, like yourself, a zone chair. Mm -hmm. Um, and then from there, you move up to become a district governor, an international director. If you know, and then you are you're on your way. On your way to the president. <laughs> on your way to become. That's the last president. one. You get to the president. Right. Thank you, thank you, Debbie. I'll be, I'll be coming back to you uh, sure. for the more question. You mentioned about the, uh, she mentioned about the Norwood Lions Club. Yes. Um, so I want to know a little bit about because we're talking today is I'm going to tell uh, the viewers today. We're here because uh, Norwood Lions Club. Better, I tell about the Norwood Lions. It is, she's a um, treasurer now, and she's been treasurer a long time. I don't know how many, how many time, years she's been. <laughs> uh, this Lions Club um, is, I think it's a very famous and previously many, many years Norwood Lions Club been here. Tell me about yourself a little bit and uh, Norwood Lions. Well, <coughs> my husband joined Lions first and then I decided to join too because he, if he was going out to dinner once a month, I decided I would go too and discovered that the organization, I did not know an awful lot about Lions, but I learned a lot and decided it was a very valuable place to go and a, an excellent organization because mm -hmm. I've done volunteer work in other areas mm -hmm. and just the 
the, the service part of it was, was really very well run. But uh, <clears throat> as far as the Norwood Lions Club, it was chartered in 1941 and has been in continuous operation since then. During this time, three of our members advanced in the international organization to the position of direct district governor, as mm -hmm. Deb is now, mm -hmm. and Paul Alberta, who is the retired director of fine arts in the Norwood schools mm -hmm. uh, and is still a club member, originated the concept of a Lions All-State Band composed of students from across the state. And he was its leader for many years and still acts as an advisor so that Mm -hmm. This is how people have gone up, as you've said, through the, through the ranks. And our members have followed our motto, which is, we serve by supporting both local causes and worldwide needs. Many years ago, the Norwood High School marching band members would go door to door selling light bulbs. Mm -hmm. And we provided uh, <clears throat> assistance to individuals, mainly children, in need of glasses. We furnished the original Bond Street tot lot, and we purchased an eye testing machine for the Norwood schools, a machine to assist low vision visitors to the library, and braille and large print books. Our last major donation was the purchase and training of a project lifesaver system to assist the Norwood and Dedham police in locating missing individuals. Currently, we sponsor an annual peace poster contest at St. Catherine's School with the winning poster going on to the district contest. Also, we support the concerts on the Common in every Sunday in the summer. We collect used eyeglasses for recycling, and if anyone is interested, there is a collection box in Town Hall. And we bring the iMobile to Norwood Day for health screening and hold periodic blood drives in conjunction with the Himalayan Lions Club. So they keep us kind of busy. Mm, that's we that's very good to know, uh, Edith. Uh, tell us about you, what do you, what do, you do? <laughs> I am a tax professional with H&R Block and have been so for 38 seasons now. And uh, so that's, you know. Thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you, Edith. Thank you very much, um, uh, uh, Edith, she's been, uh, so good, uh, Norwood Lions treasurer. She's been so much officially. She works. She makes so much profit and loss. She make donations list. She handled two accounts for Norwood. Every every Lions Club has a two accounts. One for the project account. We don't touch that money. One for the administrative account. They mostly expense that money from the uh, raise that money from the membership. They don't mix up. Uh, the money. Now I am going to the another person here. His name is uh, Birochan Nepal. Um, basically, he he just joined this club in a couple of years ago. I think I'm right, and uh, he's a vice president now. And uh, the North Alliance is uh, bringing a little bit diverse diversity here. Looks like uh, you, um, uh, Birochan Nepal, is from Nepal. And uh, he's vice boss. Well, how do you feel about joining the Norwood Lions, sir? I feel very good. Uh, okay. Still, I'm new. I'm learning okay. the mining gun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. So, um, Murray Weiner, we have here, um, secretary, long time. How many years you were secretary in Norwood Lions, sir? I don't know. Um, let's see, since 2004. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, what is okay, well done. Oh, 15 years? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, that <clears throat> I lost my job and that I was looking around for something to do. And I had the free time and so I joined and uh, it's been very, very useful for me that I, part of what I do is collect bottles and cans. Mm -hmm. uh, for deposit money, and at my age, it's good good exercise. <laughs> so it's important to me. Um, the other thing is uh, that it gets you out. It, there's possibilities to gain out into the community. 
Mm -hmm. Like when we don't, we're not guaranteed the iMobile every year, but we've also done kids eye screening and uh, um, there's a picture on our website showing me trying to lure people with kids into the into our booth on Norwood Day. So that uh, that that you get to meet people. And there's uh, activities like um, district activities where people get together. Mm -hmm. So there are the advisories for a year. And um, you get to meet some very good people who are interested in their main thing is helping, helping the community. So, how, so do you, you think that Norwood Lions should get more help from the Norwood? So you mean that you're going to bring more member, uh, like how many members you have, Edith? 14. 14 members. So Lions Club supposed to have mostly, uh, they, they like 20 members as an uh, yeah. active and a good standing club. Yeah. So below 20 is maybe not good standing position. So you, you are more member, 20, 40, 30 members. I heard there is a alliance with 101, 102 members, uh, like Iceland yeah. Lions Club. So <coughs> that's why you think that you, you, you guys were looking for some new and nice active members to the Norwood Lions? Absolutely. Absolutely, you're looking. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to uh, Debbie this time, because she's the head of the Lions 33K. She explained about how the Massachusetts Lions is structured. So Debbie, uh, Tell me about the Norwood Lions. So, so how, what kind of people join Norwood Lions? What mostly you see, you, you're a governor this year and you were a Joan chair, you were a region chair, and she was a uh, Millis Lions president and uh, she helped lots of things uh, to the Millis Lions. So tell me about the, how they get the member, what is the procedures, and what is the benefit of being a Norwood Lions? Please. So Mahesh, um Anyone over the age of 18 um, can join a Lions Club. Okay. Um, it's, cool. it's made up of, uh, unlike Rotary, mm -hmm. right? Rotary is a business organization. Mm -hmm. Lions are made up of individuals within your community. Mm -hmm. Whether you are a stay-at-home mom or mm -hmm. a dad, or whether or not you own a business in town, um, Lions is made up of people who are committed to changing the community for better. Mm -hmm. So if you have an interest, if you'd like to be to join the Norwood Lions Club, um, you can reach out to Mahesh, you can reach out to anyone on this panel. Um, and it is, it affords a, a few things for, in, for people. Not only is there this great learning mm -hmm. opportunity, mm -hmm. skill set, um, there's the ability to be able to change someone's life for the better and mm -hmm. that I think touches all of us. Um, unlike a lot of social clubs, people get together. Um, it can be a big drinking club or a party mm -hmm. club. When the Lions get together, it's about service. service. Right? We come together in a community to change your community for, for the better, whether you're changing one, it, one citizen at a time, mm -hmm. whether you're, you're cleaning a park, cleaning the streets, putting in trees. Um, it's about people coming together, and through that process of coming together, mm -hmm. you build some of the greatest relationships, some of the greatest friendships. Mm -hmm. um, I have been a lion now for 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, I have made friends with people. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine them not in my life, oh, right? Okay. The, just that, and, and that coming together and having maybe dinner once a month with, with a group you're not required to attend meetings, but we love for you to attend the meetings because that's how you develop the friendships, yep. right? That's how you develop the relationships. And when you're out in your community, you're meeting new people and you find that maybe the things that are going on in your life are actually going on in other people's lives. Mm. And you, this, this is, these are the things that connect you. Um, I know that the Norwood Lions has been you know, very active when uh, one of the students was seriously injured in your community mm -hmm. um, in, I think it was a hockey accident mm -hmm. a few years ago. And I know that uh, the club has, you know, like you said, there's been an extensive 
um, donation of mm -hmm. time and talent and product mm -hmm. to people in need with your, within the community. And I think mm -hmm. that that's, um, I don't know, I, I just can't stress enough all of the positive benefits mm -hmm. of it. It's expanding your horizons, it's expanding your knowledge, um, you're gaining all these wonderful sort of leadership skills and mm -hmm. things that help you personally in your life, but also in your business and your job if you work. Um, or even conflict resolution, which takes place when you're trying to parent your children, right? Or working with your spouse. Um, so there's a lot of there's been a, a lot of great benefit to it, and um, you know the, the the people that work in the Norwood Club, they're very very committed to wanting this community to be better. We would love to have every more anybody people, everybody in the community join this club. Who who helps the community? Yeah, who helps the community? Uh, you you're, uh, have that. Yeah, you have that sense of wanting to make Norwood a better place to mm -hmm. live, um, better place to work. Come and talk to them. Lions, so, um, lions don't get paid. No one gets paid. No this one is a gets 100 paid. Hundred percent volunteer organization. So some you of do the, this because you love yeah, doing this. Some of the organizations taking your money from the market and right. taking 15 to 30 percent in the, your own pocket. Right. Those organizations, right. and then giving 60, 70 percent to the public. So right. getting the uh, uh, help money and taking your charge. So Lions doesn't do that. And the Lions member also, I think they paid money every year for international, for the district, for the multiple district, and for the club. Well, so is that, a worthy, worthy, right. is that worthy to get some, even you're not getting paid, you're paying it, and you're going to the dinner making good friends. Yes. Uh, absolutely, yes. that's good. You go into the you know, school p meetings, you go into the town meetings, you're finding the people that um, finding the people that need help, so right. you're doing it. So you think it's a worthy uh, for the your community people, like uh, for example, Norwood community people come to the Norwood Lions, do this stuff. You think it's a it's a worthy? It's worth every single cent. Oh, okay. Every cent that I've ever paid for mm -hmm. dues, mm -hmm. um, every cent that I have ever donated to a project, mm -hmm. it's worth it. What worth I it. have been able to take away personally, and I am mm -hmm. quite sure that these lions on this board can attest. Mm -hmm. that there is nothing mm -hmm. like handing a pair of eyeglasses to a child that's not seen, wow. right? It is so incredibly powerful to be able to um, assist a senior citizen, mm -hmm. right? Where, or assist a family that has just had a fire. Mm -hmm. And you walk up to a little child with a stuffed animal Mm -hmm. Right wow. or a little or yeah. or, a, or, a, or a toy toy right I or mean, blanket the in the winter that, yeah the blanket. joy that you get out of that that yeah. personal fulfillment um, is is priceless. There's no mm -hmm. you can't put you can't put a price on that. Mm -hmm. there, it's a feeling that you you can go to sleep every night knowing that you are changing people's lives, whether you see that person every day, mm -hmm. whether you are making a donation to a, a club fundraiser, mm -hmm. um, you know that that money is going directly into the hands mm -hmm. of someone in need, right? At, uh, unlike, you just said, unlike lots of other organizations where you they will only get 60, 70, 75 cents on every dollar, every dollar. right? Yeah. Because yeah. you're paying some administrative mm -hmm. cost. Mm -hmm. We don't have that. We don't have that 100% of what we do. So tell me about a little bit about the, how you tie with the international to help this. Just like I heard we have a Lawrence accident, the gas accident, yes. uh, that reason. We had a very ba bad and worse situation in that area. A natural disaster, mm -hmm. high tea. Japan, India earthquake, um, Nepal earthquake. There, I heard that there is so many funds that line, LCIF, Lions Club International Fund has. Now how club get that, how they directly getting it, or club providing it, how you tie with the international, because international has so much fun. So um, <clears throat> on a club level, mm -hmm. you have a do, there's a due structure. Mm -hmm. And then you have your fundraising events. And, uh, event. That also carries forward onto international, international right? And yep. there is the International Lions Clubs International mm -hmm. LCI, mm -hmm. and then there is the Lions Clubs International Fund, Fun. all right, which is the charitable arm of Lions Clubs. Mm -hmm. 
cl on a local level, clubs donate mm -hmm. to the foundation, mm -hmm. and it, that money comes together, and Lions Clubs International Foundation, mm -hmm. who has partnered with groups like Bausch and Lomb, the Bill and Gates, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, these these other groups come together, mm -hmm. and when a natural disaster strikes, like the earthquake in Nepal, mm -hmm. uh, like the um, earthquakes in Japan, mm -hmm. Italy, Lions Clubs International instantly mm -hmm. transfers mm -hmm. on the day of the event, depending upon the number of people that it affects, affects. a minimum of ten thousand dollar grant. Okay. It right is in the, the hands of the governor right within the hours. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. For that governor to go out into the community, rally the clubs, and help them to disperse things like food and water and blankets and shelter instantly. Mm. Okay. Then, you know, we're the first boots on the ground when disaster hits, right? When any, any kind of disaster hits, mm -hmm. Lions Club's members are right there, right away to help. Mm-hmm. Additional grants can be given, and over mm -hmm. the years, uh, Lions Club's International Foundation, which has just celebrated its 50th year, has given over a billion dollars in funds mm -hmm. in local grants, grants. to communities. Mm -hmm. The flooding that's happening right now in the middle of the United States. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's, it's been unbelievable. Those club members, those presidents, reach out to their go district governor and say, my town is underwater. Oh. All right. Your governor is already way ahead of you. Your go the governor is mm -hmm. already called. Go called. All right. When yeah. we had uh, tornadoes out in District Y, yeah. District Y's governor picks up the phone, calls LCI, Everybody, and yeah. instantly gets that ten thousand dollars. We, as clubs, we donate to that fund because okay. we want to be able to help people around the world. Yeah. Lions Clubs is an international organization. We help people all over the all over the world. Well. And if disaster were to hit mm -hmm. in the town of Norwood and I was governor, or who's ever sitting in this seat as governor, they call LCI on the phone and say, something happened to our community, mm -hmm. we need your help. And they instantly wire <coughs> those funds. Um, community, I mean, clubs like Norwood were instrumental in helping the people in, in District N in the North Shore during the um, gas explosion. Gas explosion. Right? Clubs from all over our state came together, not mm -hmm. only to raise funds to help those people, mm -hmm. but to physically go and ensure that these people were taken yep. care of while we were all waiting for Columbia Gas to do something. Norwood Lions, Lions helped right that there. too. No, yeah. Norwood Lions were there. Were there. They, you know, they, not only did they donate money from their charitable fund, mm -hmm. um, but you had people who were there helping. Uh -huh to ensure that these families, it was it was coming on winter, right? They yep. had blankets and they yep. had electrical, you know, electric mm -hmm. things to cook and feed their families. Mm -hmm. um, and that, again, that's helping your own and it's it's a, a, an amazing experience. Very nice, David, thank you very much. We're almost uh, uh, over 30 minutes in the program. We don't wanna make you so much uh, time waiting, listening to us, uh, hopefully we're not making a very bored watching TV from your couch <laughs> or watching YouTube channel or maybe you're watching from different channels. Uh, today is the Norwood Lions Day. Con I'm gonna, I want to congratulate. I'm also a president of the Norwood Lions next mm -hmm. year. Thank you, Debbie, and thank you all the Norwood members. We're 14 and we're looking for more members, more helping people come to do the volunteer. Thank you very much for the Norwood town. We went there. Norwood Recreation Center Manager, CBS. We went there, Eyeglasses Center. Um, by the way, uh, last month I dropped 236 pairs of big, big two bags of glasses for the needy people in Boston. So that's how we doing it. So this club is almost like 77, 78, 80 years old. All the active members is out. Some of them passed away. Some of them uh, in the age of that um, about to get the rest. So that's why we're looking at young generation like Biroch and like we have a second vice president helping in, um, us in a camera, Suresh Takal. And we're we so many, so much excited to work with the Norwood. We bring so, uh, so much projects with you. Uh, so before I leave, uh, I want to ask Edith about um, how you call more people to your club. Oh. How you think? Do you have something, Marie? Yeah, that she can, well, 
mention the website. Oh, we do have uh, for people who want more information and who to contact, mm -hmm. etc. There is the website, which is www. Norwood Math at Norwood MA Lions dot org, and um, we I, we also are on Facebook as Norwood Lions Club. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Except yeah. Norwood Lions is one. The first name and the club is the. Yeah. Name. Okay. The first. Okay. It's Norwood Lions Run Together Space Club, and then mm -hmm. the last name is Club. This is, these are two places that people can come, can look to find out more about us and see some of our activities and also get contact information as to who they can call as far as um, joining us or if nothing else, we meet every second Monday at uh, 11 o'clock at Conrad's for uh, second Monday of the month at Conrad's for a meeting and it's open to anybody that wants anybody. to come and mm -hmm. see more and meet us and see more, learn more about us. Thank you. Thank you, Edith. Uh, Norwood Lions has a one lunch meeting. Uh, lunch meeting starts 11. Uh, we do meet there. We, we, we um, uh, exercise our business over there. We pass the businesses. We, we put the new project in and uh, we discuss and democratically we approve. Some of them we discuss and approve next month. Um, you can stop by in Conrad uh, anytime. You don't even you remember. You don't have to come every meeting. You can come a couple times a year, have lunch with us, help this club, um, and uh, other stuff. So um, you have anything? Thing, uh, I was just gonna say for next month, for July, which would be July eighth. We won't be meeting at Conrad's because yeah. we are having blood one donors. of our blood drives and we will be at the Sheraton Four Points for that. Yeah, we're going to meet in the Sheraton Four Points that day. Um, thank you very much uh, for the reminding me, Edith. It's, it's a blood drive. and I, We talked to Red Cross. It's kind of emergency blood drive because um, uh, the Midwest side has a, so much disaster. They need a, so much blood. Um, uh, you know, there's lots of people in the hospital. That's why Red, Red Cross is collecting more uh, if it's possible. So we have to do this July 8th too early because we have another in September 14. So we want to make our people 60 days gap to do the another blood drive. So before I leave, Debbie, you have anything? How you call Norwood Lions? How you compare with the Millis Lions? You have so many members in the Millis Lions. What do you tell us about? joining the Norwood Lions. I, I Last will word tell you from right Debbie. Now, it will be the best thing that you could do. It will it Go. will it will change you. It absolutely will change you. Um, I, I cannot stress that. All right. Thank you very much panel. Thank you very much for today's program. Thank you do Marie. <laughs> thank you Biroton <laughs> Nepal and thank you Eris. Thank you Governor. Thank uh, you be thank no you. governor in July. No, my term is up. July, <laughs> July 30th officially it'll be July 9th when the July new 9th morning, the new governors yeah. so you go into international convention in Italy unfortunately I'm not going to Italy this year no. oh, the, 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 I'm actually going with a group of friends Dawn, Dawn she's going because she's yeah. the next governor Dawn, she's well, from yeah, the next governor Dawn from Norton, Medway Norton. she's from Medway right, she's so very so active in. very yeah. nice to work with us and thank you very much all the viewers uh, Norwood Community Television thank you very much uh, watching our program and we'll be bringing more program and uh, I take a pardon if I make you so much bored about this program. <laughs> but this is community program. Make sure next time I'll bring you, like previously I did bring you some musical programs. And next time I'm planning to bring very nice uh, Nepali folk music and other part of um, other language, some of other language music too. And I'll make you entertainment this time. Until that, I, I have to say bye-bye and namaste end of this program. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.